<laughs> yes, it's finally arrived. I cannot believe that I spent 50 US dollars on a single cable. That's over 70 Australian dollars. To put it into perspective, a single cable from Apple costs just $29. But here we are, let's unbox the iJustin cable. So as we can see, underneath the Condor Blue wrap is... a very squished box. I mean, who thought that packaging it in this would be a good idea? Like $70 for a box that looks like it's already been open. Yikes. Anyway, so on the front we can see an image of the Queen I Justine um, herself and also a very, very pink cable. And um, on the back is a list of literally every lightning device ever made. And it also mentions over here a lifetime warranty. So I guess that's good then. But with 30 US dollar shipping, I'm pretty sure that the uh, warranty would be rather expensive to use. But let's open her up. And... Here is the cable. So uh, this uh, QR code thing slipped out. Oh, that's for the warranty. And um, let's take it out of the plastic wrap. And yikes, it is uh, far more pink than I expect it to be. I'm actually quite shocked by the color for some reason. It's got these lovely Velcro straps, which are uh, probably worth two cents. And um, honestly, I'm pretty shocked by how vibrant the color is. So hopefully when I'm using it in public, people will see how severely I overpaid for a lightning cable that will uh, probably be defunct in a year. But most importantly, does it work? Will it fit inside my iPhone? Oh my God, it sure does. <laughs> but beside that, it's also supposed to be a very tough cable. As it's, uh, it's braided, as you can see, and this rubber end um, looks rather tough. How strong is it though? Let's see. It passes my test. <laughs> Let me know if you think that this cable was worth it.